Hey everyone, and welcome to another Yogi Misfit Sessions. My name is Danny Palm Plune, and I'm your host. Today I'm coming at you with session 43, and I have Salima on today's show. Um, she's a sweetheart. She's been coming to my yoga classes for a little bit, and she actually reached out to me about um, a blog that she does. Um, her mom was actually diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and she pretty much got motivated or, you know, it really lit a fire under her to start to do more research on it. And what she discovered was that, you know, what you're eating and what you're putting in can not only help the the Alzheimer's, but also obviously a lot more health benefits with it. So she started this blog called The Salted Cashew and, you know, now she's seeing that it's it's helping her mom out a lot. And so we just got to dive in a little bit about that. We talked a little bit about our, our favorite morning smoothies. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this session. Um, and I'd like to remind everybody that starting in June, we've got the summer series of this podcast with uh, Susanna Friedman and myself. So you looking for, you can look forward to that rather on Fridays or every other Friday. Um, and it's always big love and a big shout to my friends over at SF Yoga Magazine. We appreciate all the love and support that we get from you guys. Without further ado, enjoy the show. Hi, Salima. How are you? Hi, Danny. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. How's everything going? Everything is great. It's a beautiful Monday morning. I'm feeling, you know, it's so funny because you and I were talking about drinking these smoothies in the mornings yeah. and I have started to drink smoothies now in the morning. Oh, nice. You know, I um, have concocted not, what did you call yours? What, did, what was the name of your smoothie? I forgot, like the green beast or something yes. like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I have created like more of a savory one that's, you know, ginger, kale with a little mango, some water, ice, that type of situation. And I don't know, I've had it like the past four mornings and I'm loving it. Like I, like I wake up craving it now, you know? I can't, like, I actually just had mine like a few minutes ago. I, <laughs> I can't, I like, I really do not function well without yeah. having a smoothie. It will ru ruin, it'll ruin my day if I don't have it. Well, you know, what's interesting too, is that I'm a, such a coffee person. And so normally I wake up, I have some water and then I drink coffee. Mm -hmm. But now I'm just going straight to the smoothie, then I'll have coffee and then maybe some water right after that. But I feel so much more energized. Like I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like my body is just like ready to roll and ready to go. Yeah. I feel, well, like, I mean, I found I feel like you're just like packing yourself with like nutrients, like first thing. So your body's yeah. like, woo, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's party. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, but I am going to have to try yours sometime. Definitely. Because it's I so want to know yummy. now I'm like hooked. I got it. I'm like it, on it now. It is so yummy, man. It's seriously, it's like a game changer. <laughs> I actually just did a little like interview on on move with um from you know, doing a 10 day meditation with them uh -huh. and they were like doing like this little video thing and they were like yeah like what's like what's the first thing you do in the morning and I was like the smoothie and they I just posted, they just posted it on their blog and people were like oh my god this thing's a bomb <laughs> yeah I love learning from other people and like trying what other people do because I I just I never think that anything should be permanent, really. Like, I think that things work for different people, right? But, like, right. they need to be switched up from time to time. And maybe in three months, I'll, like, switch it up to being, like, having a night smoothie, you know? And, like, yeah. who knows? But I love trying what other people do. And I just think, like, for my body, it was, like, a shock to the system in a good way, you know? And sometimes there's, like, you know, it doesn't work and I don't do it anymore. But this one, I was like, yep, I'm on it. I'm on this gravy train here. So, <laughs> um I'm glad you're but, liking it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, and I just, uh, so that's my Monday morning so far. It's been, I don't know what's going on, but I've just been waking up super early and cranking through the days and it's now daylight. So what's up with daylight savings? It, so it's an hour back now? It's an hour, spring forward, fall back. That's right. There we go. <laughs> You're a day behind. <laughs> <laughs> spring forward, fall back. So I'm not even noticing the change, really. Have you noticed it? I mean, I was just in Costa Rica, so I was already like two hours ahead. So I, like, it, it, coming back to it, I was like, I was there for a week. So I was already like yeah. acclimated into it. I didn't really have to worry about it. Right, right. You know, um, I don't know if this is like, 
true or not, but I, I, I try to not believe in time change or jet lag or anything like that. And I feel like my body adjusts like much faster if I don't mentally think about it, you know? Right. Right. And well, so it's very psychosomatic. I think there's also like this like study too, like where if you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is like, you, you know, power stance, like they say, like the Superman stance or like the yeah. like warrior stance where you put your hands on your hips and you, you bring your chest up or whatever. And you, if you like get out of bed and you like stand like that or whatever, and you tell yourself mentally, like that you're energized, you actually don't feel tired or something like that. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm all like, the notes, all the notes we need right now. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm gonna try it tomorrow and see um, how that is. Maybe that'll be my new, new kick in the morning. So, I love it. I love um, it. So I want to dive in and yeah. and chat with you about salted cashew. Tell me yes. all the things. Um, yes, of course. So I, you know, uh, just a little bit of history of salted cashew. So my mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's a couple years ago, like three years mm-hmm. ago. And we were kind of presented with something that we had no knowledge of. And I'm very research-based. So I dove into this and found that, you know, so many great programs out there like Stanford and UCSF were doing great things, but we really wanted to take more of a holistic approach to this. Um, And, you know, by doing that, it was definitely a challenge for our family, like to reshift our understanding of how you eat food, how hydrated you are, how, um, you know, you maybe take supplements and so, and where you exercise and et cetera, et cetera. And so what we did is we found this program, the Bredesen protocol, uh, sorry, the Bredesen foundation and at the Buck Institute, and it's a Bredesen protocol, which is all about using a holistic way to treat degenerative diseases. And I Mm -hmm. was Mm -hmm. just fascinated. And to this day, like, you know, my mom, I think was diagnosed, uh, like three, almost three years ago or a little over three years ago. And she still drives and she still like, you know, goes and does her own thing, like does her own manicure, pedicures. Like she's very enabled to do, to live her life. Right. That being said, I, it was a challenge to get there. And so salted cashew is all about using this ingredients list, ingredient list. That's, uh, essentially eating for your brain's health. Um, okay. And it's, it's all about like, you know, having this balance between body and brain, living a lifestyle that's 80% healthy, 20% cheap, but you're also like improving, like, you know, it, it's improving all different parts of your body. It's improving your gut health. It's improving everything, but scientifically proven these ingredients work. So it was something that was just so fascinating. And there's no pill out there that I found that, that could, that could stabilize the degenerative disease that my mom has. Right. And now, I mean, I do it. My dad does it. I know like a lot of other people who just do it and they don't have anything. Right. But they're just Mm -hmm. like this. The way I function now feels better. I feel stronger. I feel lighter. I feel um, it's the same. It's it's similar in the way that like when I do yoga, I literally my my joints, my muscles, my brain, it feels like I'm really ready to tackle whatever the next exercise is or the next, you know, thing in the world is and mentally and physically. And, um, I just, I think it's for me, it's like, I want to make it easy for everybody. And that was the goal of salted cashew. I love that this started by wanting to help your mom. Like, I mean, I think that's like, how inspiring, you know what I mean? I like know. way to go. You And now you've turned this into like a thing. It's like, and it's she like, she your- is so inspiring herself, which is like, great. You know, like the fact that I'm seeing her still be an independent woman, you know, um, is so important to me, you know, and so important that like I can enable her to, you know, she has this blog that she writes and, um, she still gets to do it. She needs help with it, but she still gets to do it because I think I'm, I'm convinced because of this program, you know? Right. So tell me, Tell me more about the, like the fueling your brain and the 80, 20 thing. I want to like right. dive, like right. hear more so about that. The way, so what you're doing, the way that the Bredesen program kind of broke it down for me was that when you eat something and let's say you eat a hamburger, you feel sluggish, but before you even feel the sluggishness, you, your brain is subconsciously processing it. And that's, the point where the Bredesen program is taking the food intake and seeing where it um, hits your brain. 
okay. before it hits your stomach to then signal to your brain because the stomach is the physical uh, reaction to the heavy food or to the so light the, food. The brain's already taking in all the information. It's already first. taking in all the information. Got so it. like okay. the green smoothie that I'm now hooked on every morning, that is my brain is loving it in the mornings and my body then feels it, you know, midday and throughout the day. Uh, and so, okay. um, but, and it's very, it's really basic. This, this, uh, this diet, it's no processed foods, no processed sugars, really staying away from, you know, a lot of the carbohydrates that you're going to consume, but you can have like fruits, vegetables, a lot of protein, lean proteins are really good. And we're like a huge fan of fish, meat, you know, and that's great. But it's like where you get into like the sauces maybe are gonna, that's where we're steering away from, you know? Right, right, um, right. Yeah. Which is great because like, you know, Indian barbecue is like the best thing on this diet. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like tons of spices and then you throw everything on a barbecue and then you eat it, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, but it's really and and here's the thing though I, to get to the eighty twenty, I feel like nothing like is a hundred percent right. Like you need to give your body a break a little bit. And even with my mom, sometimes she'll eat a piece of chocolate. And hey, you know what? That's okay. It's not right. gonna break like the bank or anything like that, right? And it's good right. for her because then she's more motivated, and so am I to do the program in a more rigorous way on the other days. So. What have you noticed for you, like physically, like when you started, cause you, you, you do this diet now, your dad does this diet, your, yeah. your everyone in your family is doing it. Like what, what changes did you first notice? Okay. So one of the first things that you do in the diet actually is you start increasing your water intake, your hydration. And so number one, straight off the bat, I was just more awake. Like, I don't know how to explain this feeling, but like, it's a question I get a lot, but like, I just, I felt more like a lot, not alive, but like more like energized and more awake and more like perceptive to what I actually wanted to eat and wanted to consume. And mm-hmm. when I started drinking more water, um, I basically like shifted in the way that I, what I wanted to eat. Like I didn't want to eat like bread and butter all the time or cheese and, you know, I wanted right. to like eat healthier foods, you know? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think this is the thing people are like, Oh, you eat so healthy. How do you do it? It wasn't, it wasn't like a black and white change, you know, it, it we right. incorporated things slowly. So like I drank more water for the first week, then I added in maybe three salads on the second week, then maybe on the third week, I like removed all processed candy. So no candy bars and no sugars and no none of that, you know? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was really important to remember that like, And even with my mom, like we did it very gradually, right? Like we were learning and doing it. And I I really think that was so helpful to like not have it be, you know, there's those diets where it's like, do this for 14 days and you'll look like this or you'll feel like that. And it's like, this is more of a lifelong thing, you know? It's not one of those like quick fixes things. You have to like, exactly. Yeah. So, which is great. It's, it, you want it to be. Um, a long-term thing that you can live with. What was the hardest part about going on it? Like, what do you miss the most? Uh, I miss, I do miss like, so I'm super lactose intolerant and I've been able to like kind of change the diet a little bit so that it tailors me more. And, right. um, and I um, basically had to cut out all cheese. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> it was so hard. I really, really love cheese. I love dairy and, it's funny, I'm going to Amsterdam and uh, Paris in a week and a half, and I'm just going to like, I am going to go a little nuts, just maybe one day. <laughs> I have to, it's so good. <laughs> but that's the beauty of this. Like, I can do that for one day and then feel like, all right, I'm satisfied, and then like, and just have like a couple, like a cheese course or whatever, and then be like, okay, I'm ready to get back, you know? Yeah. I don't how's crave your, it how, in that way. How's... Um, ha- have you gotten everyone else like in the family involved as well? Um, yeah, I like, mean, like in- the thing is, is that like when we go, we spend a lot of time together, right? All of us. So we've kind of made it a general rule that when we're together, we eat the same way. You know, we are not going to like, you know, be like, I want a hamburger and I'm going to eat it in front of, um, 
in front of my mom, you know, that type of situation. Right. right? And like, I think that it's a show of support and automatically by doing this supportive behavior, we have all grown to like want to do it. Right. And so like, like, you know, for instance, she um, was like, okay, I don't want to have any sugar sweets in my house because I'll know that I'll just eat it. So we all don't keep sweets in our house, you know? So, right, which I right. think is so good. How does your mom's, has, how has your mom's health been affected by it? I mean, for instance, here's a big, here's like a big overall picture. Um, she, when we first, when she, when my mom was first diagnosed with Alzheimer's, um, there was a lot of memory lapses and there was a lot of like repetitive conversations and there was no memory of doing anything. And now, uh, so I actually just got engaged and so, um, and she's like really bad at remembering dates, but she knows every date now, this is like Mm -hmm. a little over three, two and a half years later of like when this planning meeting is, when is this like engagement party? When is this? And I'm, I'm blown away by that. Like, I think that's pretty impressive to, for someone who like couldn't remember that she already ate lunch or didn't eat lunch, you know, or didn't eat breakfast yeah. or didn't, or couldn't remember if she wanted to exercise. Like now she remembers dates and she can, you know, she, she felt like she couldn't drive before and now she's driving and she gets a test like every three months. And so, um, it's, it's an, it's enabled her to be more of an independent person, which she was always a very independent woman. So that's yeah. awesome. And I mean, that's gotta be, that's gotta be so rewarding for you to like, be able to see that. And I mean, I don't know. I just, I, I think I told you this last time in person, but like, I'm so moved yeah. by like how you created all of this and how you like, yeah. I mean, you went out of your way to do what, from what you were doing beforehand to like stop and just devote your entire everything yeah. to this project because you're mom yeah. like that's really effing cool <laughs> <laughs> i yeah and i mean the thing the great part about it is that she's super supportive and she will read my blog posts and if i need her to edit something because she is a great writer herself and you know she'll right. edit it and she feels really a part of it and you'll have to meet her someday um you know, I really want to start setting her up with yoga again. And I think that it would be really fun for us to do like a family yoga class, like once a week or whatever. But um, oh, totally. she is just like, it's just, it's great that she can be a part of it, you know, in a, in a very active way. And she's definitely a big right. taste tester. All my recipes, she's like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, and she's like, why do I have to eat this? It tastes really bad. And I'm like, okay, can you tell me why? Like, and so it's good to have that feedback, right? Yeah, totally. 100%. You need, you need someone that's going to be honest. Yeah, with you. exactly. Exactly. Um, All right. So someone, someone wants to jump on the salted cashew. Like what can they expect? What can they expect as they first get started? What kind of like, you know, like what kind of support, where do we, how do we get them going? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So right now, you know, you can go to saltedcashew.com and you can look at our recipes. You can, I have a bunch of Ask Salima videos that helps you kind of answer some of your questions. Um, and then coming up at the end of the year, what I'm doing is I'm releasing a five week plan, which is, it's a five week plan, which gets you onto the salted cashew lifestyle. And I figured that, you know, three weeks was too short. Eight weeks feels like it's a long time. Five weeks is like manageable for everybody. You know, everybody has five weeks in their life and it's slowly, it's basically what we did, which is we added and incorporated the good. We removed the bad piece by piece and we made it in a very easy way. And then it also will help you kind of like, um, I, I think a huge component to this is, is like eating out and how you eat out because we love, we love to go out. We love to have, you know, we love to go meet our girlfriends or our guy friends and like have dinner with this person and that person. But we, it's hard to understand how to eat like when you're outside with temptations. And, um, so in the five week plan, that'll be, that's going to be in there. And it's like, it's good. It's really exciting. And I, uh, have someone working on it with me and, um, Actually, if anybody wants to sign up as a trial, I'd be happy to give it to them for for free. Oh, how to awesome! Check it out and like to you know give me feedback on it. Huh. Like that would be super super helpful. That's so. awesome. I'll make sure I leave all that info in the show notes too. That way, people can, yeah. can hit you up. Yeah, on they that. can just direct message me. And um, but it's gonna be you know, I mean, it's something that like 
it's a much more visual thing and it's not so much, uh, you know, a, like a huge textbook. I think I read like a lot of textbooks on how to get to this point and I'm really just dumbing it down for everybody. I don't, there's no need to be reading all these textbooks and we want to make it easy for everybody. You know, we want to yeah. make it like you can buy like pre, pre semi pre-made foods and like you can, uh, go and use your microwave. Like it's okay, you know, yeah, to yeah, buy yeah. like to yeah. use shortcuts. Like, I, I'm a huge fan of that. I currently eat paleo for the most of it. I mean, I do allow myself. I do like eighty twenty as well, and like I like yeah. the one thing that I do every day is like I eat toast every morning. It's like my, it's like my. <laughs> I love it. You know, I look like my smoothie happens, and then I'm like, all right, here goes my day, and then I'm like, I'm just gonna do my little toast with a little bit of butter <laughs> and a little bit of like jelly. But like, yeah. it sounds even my just listening to you talk about it, like I know we, we've we kind of started talking about it beforehand. Yeah. And like, I might want to actually try the five week thing. <laughs> you should. Yeah, I would love for you to try it. I mean, I the, the whole point of this really is to like enable people to live a lifestyle that works for them, you know, and yeah. if some of it doesn't work for you, take it out and like supplement it with what you think would, you know? Oh my god. We're gosh. not asking you to remove the toast. We're just asking you to maybe limit it, you know? We should and totally so. do a, a double podcast series after this. We should totally <laughs> like my start my starting date and we can talk about like my current eating habits and whatnot and yes. then my and then my end date. How fun would that be? That would be so fun. <laughs> and I uh, yeah, I have like cue cards for you like to write down like your progress and you know, everything like where you're at starting, you know, you can take, I'm incorporated. Like if you want to take selfies of yourself, like yeah. people are really into that. So I love it. Um, yeah, it's really fun. I'm really excited to be doing this and releasing it at the end of the year. So I will, I will commit to totally doing it for sure. Hands down. Yes. Okay. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. And it helps. Honestly, it helps like anyone, even if you're really healthy, like I consider myself a really healthy person. Right. It helps keep check too you know nice awesome so. i love that i love that well, <laughs> thanks so much for coming on the show today yeah, and, and thank you so much danny this is so fun i'll say it a million times again i'm just i really am i i mean i said it in person i'm so inspired by how this i just love that you love your mom so much and how i don't know i just i you're a role model to Aww. a lot of people you should yeah. be anyway I, I think that's that's great Oh, you're so, so sweet. I cannot <laughs> wait for her to meet you. I'm like really excited. And she's on a plane right now to India and then Istanbul to do some work. But, you know, as soon as she gets back, I'm like ready. I'm gearing her up with like coffee with you. <laughs> awesome. I'm in. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, until the next Yogi Misfit session, this is Salima and Danny saying peace out. Bye, guys. <laughs>